Right, stopping here now because I want to um, talk about the kits I use. Um, just don't like kit really, so I use as little as possible. Um, but there are a couple of bits of kit that I think probably I can be pretty miserable without. And um, I don't know, I think the most important bit of kit is, well, let's get it out now. I'll show you, we'll talk about it quickly and then I've got to get on. So, spare blanket. It's quite cold actually at the moment, so um, I use that spare blanket. That's because my sleeping bag is uh, not up to scratch. There's only three seasons. So, uh, spare blanket. It's uh, artificial fibres, quite lightweight. Um, horrible thing, really. It's broken, doesn't deflate anymore. <laughs> my health broke. Um, uh, ground sheet, it's not waterproof. It was my old basher. It's now been relegated to ground sheet. It just keeps the muck off everything. Um, <laughs> Uh, Bergen, or oh, it's a sort of lightweight, sort of almost a day sack really, it's not really big at all. Um, it's my basher in there. Now, actually, that's probably one of the most important things, isn't it? For the shelter, um, especially if it's raining or really cold, you can back down behind around you. Uh, Bergen liner, waterproof Bergen liner. Um, that's pretty important. It's not the most important bit of kit, um, but it is really important for. Uh, keeping things like my night coat. This is what I wear at night and um, it keeps me warm. It helps, particularly since my sleeping bag isn't really, as I say, very warm at all. Being that it's three seasons and it's about 20 years old. It's actually probably more than that, actually, 25. Um, so it's high time I've got a new one. It's just can't afford one ever. Um, sleeping bag's inside this. This is a RAB bivy bag. Now I think actually the bag is the most important bit of kit. Uh, especially for someone like me who likes to just travel around lightweight. So I could actually go, uh, go around just a bit of bag and nothing else. Um, just get water or whatever I need on my way. It just sort of use my brain to find sort of comforts that I might need. Uh, but the bag super, super important. It's got a kind of um, Gore-Tex-like uh, upper. I, I'm quite sure it's not Gore-Tex, it's another company that RAB themselves have um, uh, developed. It's probably quite old-fashioned now. Um, and underneath, it's just a waterproof, um, uh, well it was a waterproof, it's not anymore because it's sort of say about 20 years old or more. Um, but it used to be waterproof so that lying on the floor, you can actually lie directly on a wet floor. Um, uh, if you're a bit, if you toss and turn at night like me, you have to watch out because Sometimes this can end up on top, and then um, you end up with condensation inside and you're getting wet again. Uh, so I keep the seat bag in there so that I can just get into it. Um, inside the uh, RAB beauty bag, it's got a silver sort of lining, so that helps you keep warm a little bit. I have to admit to you, it won't keep you warm if it's a really cold night. It can probably be a little less cold than you would have been without it. And certainly less cold still if you're just using, for example, uh, the basher to keep you sheltered and warm. Um, so, in my opinion, um, this is the most important bit of kit. Well overdue, another one. As you see, it's actually starting to, where is it, start to come away a bit. The whole thing does zip right up, so you, in theory, you can keep your waterproof. You, um, you could travel with just the bivy bag and the sleeping bag. This would zip up and keep it all warm and dry, keep it all dry. Uh, so that you, you don't really need anything else if you're happy to carry these things in your hand, for example. Or you can just have any old bag, just shove it in and you'll be fine. So whether you're going out like I am where you just have to live outdoors, like I do, um, or if you're just travelling around in a car or a bicycle or a motorbike or whatever, uh, this is all you need really, just a booby bag. Okay, right. I'm going to um, pack up, you don't need to watch that, but uh, we'll go through um, all the other bits of kit and other things that I deal, have to deal with uh, in my life as someone who sneaked outdoors at night in different places around the countryside. Alright, see you later. See you later.